Hi, so we're going to cook on the grill today. We're just going to start off by seasoning our meat. Here we have chicken thighs. We have a, a little over five and a half pounds. We just rinse these and dry them. Just flip them first. Alright, so first we're going to put some garlic powder on them. Sprinkle your garlic powder. Alright, <clears throat> and now we're going to put some chicken flavor. For young, okay. I have one tablespoon so far, but you just use just sprinkle it on and use as much as you need. Just like that. Alright, now before you flip it over, you're just going to pat these. Make sure that that stuff goes in that. All the seasons go in the chicken. Make it nice and flavorful. Alright, then you're just going to flip them. Just like that. Alright, now we're going to start with our garlic powder, sprinkle that on. Alright, now we're going to sprinkle some of our chicken flavor bouillon on. Get all of it on there. Like that. Well, that bottle's gone. <laughs> okay. Sure, it all gets on there. Kind of stuck to my fingers. Alright, and then this side you're just going to go ahead and press that as well. I'm going to get my hands clean. My son loves this chicken. Okay, so here are our chicken legs. We're going to go ahead and put some garlic powder on those. We have a little over four and a half pounds. Straight that out a little. There we go. Just 
fucking going on? Okay. This one we're going to put tomato for young. It's chicken flavoring with tomato in it. So we're going to put some of this on. And our chicken legs. I don't want to stay on very good. Make sure you get plenty of it on here. Alright. And then what you want to do is you're going to pat it. Alright, and then you're going to flip it. Flip it. A little bit. I like to do both sides so it gets the flavor all in there. Okay. All right, now we're going to do the same thing. I like powder first. Our tomato chicken flavor boy in. I just gotta open another one. I used all that bottle again. <laughs> gonna put some more in here. Get a lot of it on there. Yep. In all of our chicken, we are going to just pack that. We're going to put on some lemon juice. I like to put a little bit of lemon juice on our chicken. Makes it have some lemony flavor. I love lemon. Just gonna pour it on like that. There we go. Or you can put lime also. I didn't have any lime. I was like, we're gonna go with the lemon juice. Alright, let me go ahead and put my in. These are our thighs, so we're just gonna go ahead and okay. There we go. Okay, so this is the chicken I like to eat. This is boneless, skinless chicken breast. And this is about a little over half a pound. It's not much here. I love to cut this up and put it over my salad. This is my favorite. So I'm going to put garlic powder on this. Pretty much the same thing. I'm going to put um tomato one on here. Okay, just put it right here. Just put it over right here. Alright, I'm just going to pat it. 
and flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Put your violet powder. Put your tomato chicken flavor bore. Yeah. Okay, and don't forget the lime. Lemon. Sorry. I love lemon on mine. And these are my pieces of chicken, so I'm gonna put extra and just let it marinate in there. So that one's set. Okay, so we got our pork steaks here. Now our pork steaks, we're gonna put some seasoning salt. I love seasoning salt. Also gonna put some oregano. I love pork steak because it comes out so tender. Can't wait to eat it. All right, so you're just going to press it and flip it. salt and oregano on the other side. again. Alright, and then we're going to put some more on here. We got about eight of these. So you're just going to do this side and just on it and press it down and then flip it right over there. So all this food we're cooking is for our Valentine's dinner. Instead of going out to eat, we decided we're going to cook on the grill at home. So good with all the seasonings in here. Cannot wait to eat. Okay, one more piece. And some oregano. Press it down. Flip it. Do the same thing. I make a mess when I am seasoning my meat. Okay, when I do any kind of cooking, I make messes. Put a little bit on that one. Good. Okay, and then they're ready for the grill. Okay, so we're going to also put potatoes on the grill. Make baked potatoes for grilled potatoes. <laughs> so you just rinse off the potatoes 
and you roll it in tin foil. Make sure it's nice and clean and tight and tin foil. Okay, so we're also going to put some carrots on the ground. So you just chop off the ends and then take off the skin. And you just rinse it off. And then you're going to roll it in pizza. Like this. And then put it on the grill so it's nice and tender. Okay, we're also going to cook some sweet onions on the grill. So you're just going to cut this off. Take off all the peeling. Just like this. Just going to wrap this in tin foil also. Just like that. You're just going to stick this on my grill too. Okay, so here's our grill. We have our potatoes, our carrots, and our onions already on. It's going to take about 30 minutes for those to be done. So now my husband's putting the pork steaks on. Smelling good. We're going to have to flip them though in just a few minutes. Alright, he's flipping some of them that spin on there. He's moving some carrots and potatoes around. Got the last one to put on. So you just kind of keep flipping them and make sure they don't get burnt until they get done. You always want to put your steak on first. That way if you put your chicken on it might not be tender. <laughs> Alright, so our pork steak is getting done. They are nice and tender and juicy. Mmm. They took about 20 minutes or less. Okay, so our potatoes, carrots, and onions are done. They take about 40 to 45 minutes. You just gotta check and make sure they're done. Okay, so now we're putting our chicken thighs on. They're next. You just gotta watch these and flip these also. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to keep all your meat nice and warm. 
and just pull off the paper from the Place inside the pot where you're going to put it after it's done cooking. You're going to put two of them in there. Now, this pot is for my, my uh, boneless skin chicken. So this is a smaller pot. Okay? So then, after that, you're going to take... So, see, it's all tin foil there. So you're going to take one more piece, place it over the top, and then you're going to, when your chicken's done, you're going to place it in here, and put it on the top, just like that. See, this is my bigger pan for my, my, um, my chicken thighs and my chicken legs that I'm going to put in here. I already got that one ready. So it's just a little tip on how to keep all your food nice and warm when you're cooking on the grill. Also, after I put it in the pot, I just place it in my oven with the oven off. I just took out my racks and placed my pots in there just to make sure it stays warm until we are ready to eat. Okay, so our chicken thighs is here cooking. You just got to make sure you flip them. Okay, so just close that up. Keep all the heat in there. Okay, so our chicken thighs are done. Look at it. Mmm. Nice and juicy. So they took about 20, 25 minutes. The pork steak took a little longer because it was pretty thick. Okay, now we are putting our drumsticks on. These will probably take a little less, so just keep an eye on all your meat you put on the grill. Okay, so now we are going to add our very, very thin, boneless, skinless chicken breast. So they're not going to take very long at all because they're very thin. And our chicken drumsticks back here are just cooking away. Okay, so our skinless, boneless chicken breast is already done because it's very thin. It took about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so our drumsticks are done. Look very good. We're just going to add them to our, our thigh pot over there. Mmm, it smells so good. So this is part one, so please watch part two. That's going to be the best one.